It was an exciting day here in Tulsa as professional soccer returns to the city. Today is a big day for the Drillers organization and for the future of sports here in downtown Tulsa. It's with great excitement that I announce that today professional outdoor soccer returns to Tulsa and it is about time. All right. First and foremost, we've got a beautiful ballpark here in downtown Tulsa at One Oak Field, and, and we've, we've been blessed to enjoy it for four years for baseball only. But one riddle that we've always been, uh, we've been posed is what can we do to bring more bodies downtown when the drillers are out of town? Uh, we've looked into doing concerts, we've looked into doing other things, and, uh, and nothing really, really you know, caught fire. So we feel like soccer is going to be so important for, for our way of giving back to the community because we're just going to be able to bring so many more people to downtown Tulsa. The entrepreneurs around our area in the Blue Dome District, the Greenwood District, the, the Brady Arts District, these folks have invested in our community and this will be a way to hopefully bring a little bit more business back in their direction. One of the major components for having a team here in Tulsa is the natural rivalry it'll bring from the OKC Energy FC. We want to create the best rivalry we can, the most competitive environment between the two cities. Uh, that's what we've been missing uh, in a lot of instances between uh, with the rivalry between the two sports. It's great to bring back a rivalry back to the state of Oklahoma but between the two cities from a professional sports perspective, especially in professional soccer, as engaging of a sport it is, uh, as cosmopolitan it is, is. We're really excited to be able to do that and be able to partner with the drillers. For 20 years I've been with the Tulsa Drillers organization and we've never had that natural rival. Um, you know, Oklahoma City has always played at a higher level than us, AAA versus AA. So it's very exciting to think of having a, a peer franchises 90 miles down the street from each other with fan bases that are going to be able to rival each other, travel down there, show their spirit for their team. Uh, you know, I, I think the thing I'm looking forward to mo most is, is not just our first game here, but it's our first game against Oklahoma City to where we can see what our fans bring. Uh, you know, the, the, the creativity of the soccer fans and the soccer supporters is something that we're not used to in minor league baseball so that's probably the thing that gets us the most excited we, we want a healthy passionate fiery rivalry and we want those games to mean something every single time our two teams step on the field I wish there was a game tonight um, it is truly has the potential to be one of the elite soccer rivalries in this country for decades to come um, probably prone to hyperbole a little bit, but there's no, um, there's no overstatement in my comment here. You look at Portland and Seattle and just how special that rivalry is and different rivalries at the USL Pro and the Major League Soccer level. When you look at the geography, sort of the, uh, we'll call it friendly, uh, competitive uh, fires between the two markets here, we think it's special. You know, part of soccer, it's, it's driven by passion, it's driven by rivalries uh, worldwide and, you know, 90 minutes away, uh, visiting fans can go uh, to these games. So the atmosphere in these stadiums is going to be special, not just for the fans, but for the players. Um, and it's going to be a fun, it's just going to be a, a fun situation. With the USL Pro team in Tulsa accompanying the OKC Energy FC, the Turnpike Derby will be the must-have ticket for 2015. For Energy FC TV, I'm Kerry Shuck.